10 Cinema 4D shortcuts you guys need to know. Number one, when you select anything with the rotation tool, you can click and hold shift and it will rotate in increments of 10. Number two, to make an object edible, just click C. This will also work for text as well. Number three, when you're selecting polygons and you want to select multiple polygons, go ahead and hold shift and you guys can select multiple polygons. Now if you guys screw up, you guys can hold control and you guys can deselect. Just note that it's command if you're on Mac. Number four, if you guys want to select a loop for loop selection, click UL and you guys can select a horizontal or vertical. And combining this with number three, you guys can hold shift and multi-select multiple segments or deselect. Number five, to duplicate any object, you guys can hold control and just click and drag and it will duplicate. You can also select one object, hold shift, hold control and duplicate all of those at once. This will also work with materials. You guys can just drag it on, hold control, and just drag up and it will duplicate it onto other objects. Again, for Mac, it's command, not control. Number six, to get an instant parent of your child, just go ahead and select your object, go to MoGraph, and for example, I'm gonna be using Cloner, hold Alt and click, and that'll instantly make it a child of the parent. This also works with deformers, as you guys can see it, I'm holding Alt and it works for deformers and it works for basically everything else. As you guys can see, I'm just holding Alt and it's, you know, it works with subdivision, it works with deformers, and it works with basically everything. Number seven, clicking F5 brings you to your viewport and you guys can see all four of your views at once and clicking F1 will bring you back to perspective, F2 top, F3 right, F4 front and F5 brings you back to all of them. Number eight, clicking E will bring you to your move tool. Clicking R will bring you to your rotate tool and clicking T will bring you to your scale tool. Number nine, clicking Alt will enable you to change your perspective of your camera. If you have a camera like so, if you guys are in it, you guys can change the perspective of your camera or if you're not using a camera, and you just want to move around, you guys can click Alt and just see any angle you want. And it also works with the viewports as well. You guys can see, like so. Number 10, when you guys are really far into your project and you guys want to save, do not click Control S. What you guys want to do instead is actually hit Control S and save your project. But once you guys already save it and give it a name, I, as you guys can see, I've given it shortcuts as a name. You guys want to go to file and go to save incremental, whereas you would normally hit control S. You do not want to do that. You guys want to click save incremental and it'll basically just add a 0001. And then if you guys do it again, it'll go up to two. And every time you guys save incremental, it is making a backup. This is more efficient. Uh, so if you guys experience a corrupt file you guys have a backup i know this technically isn't a shortcut but i figured i would show you guys um, this cool feature and it basically just replaces the control s shortcut so i figured i would just mention this so that's it for this video guys i know it was a short one but if you guys like this video please make sure to comment like and subscribe if you find it useful all well, this up guys i'll see you in the next video guys peace